Hello, thank you for coming to my presentation. My name is Liang Yuan. I'm from Swinburne University of Technology, Australia. My paper's title is Coupage, a decentralized blockchain-based platform for cooperative edge computing. Firstly, I will introduce the background of edge computing and cooperative edge computing. Then, I'm going to present the overview of Coop Edge and its workflow. After that, I will show you the main components of Coop Edge and how they work collaboratively. Before I introduce edge computing, let's briefly look through cloud computing. The cloud computing promoted the rapid growth of web applications in the past decade. Constrained by limited computing power and energy, mobile and other devices often overload the, or most of and sometimes all of their computing tasks to the cloud. However, the cloud computing is challenged by many apps and IoT devices needs for low and term latency, like web AR and gaming, due to its unpredictable latency over the public internet. Cisco predicts that the internet will connect about 29 billion mobile and IoT devices worldwide by 2023. Cloud computing cannot have such amount of devices and provide high quality services. To deal with the challenges, edge computing as an extension of cloud computing and a critical 5G enabler technology is proposed. Edge computing pushes cloud-like computation and storage capacities to the edge of the network. In edge computing, a large number of servers are deployed at base stations or access points with close to end users. In this way, mobile and IoT app vendors can host their services and applications on the edge servers to serve nearby users with low latency. And the users can offload their tasks and data to edge servers for processing, and thus reduce service latency and backhaul network traffic. However, edge computing also has many issues. Unlike cloud servers, edge servers usually have limited computing capacities. Individual edge servers often cannot have all the incoming computation tasks timely especially those deployed in areas with high user density. Luckily, edge servers are connected with high-speed links, so they can offload their computation tasks to adjacent edge servers. For example, in the picture, the edge server S1 is overheated, so it can offload some of its computation tasks to S5 or S6 and S7 or S4. This is called cooperation edge computing. By offloading many opportunities, cooperation, co cooperative edge computing also raises many problems. In co edge computing environment, edge servers are usually deployed in and managed by different edge infrastructure providers like Amazon and Verizon in the example. They are often self-interested, therefore, they may not be willing to perform others' tasks. Without improper in incentive, they refuse to contribute their resources. In addition, they are in distrust environment. If randomly offload, offloading computation tasks to an edge server, the offloaded task might not be complete on time. For example, let's assume S2 would like to perform offloaded tasks. However, it may not finish tasks as required because it's already over overheaded. Another challenge is efficient control. It's impractical, it's impractical to coordinate the cooperation among edge servers in, the, in, a, in a centralized manner from the remote cloud because it has long latency. So according to the challenges mentioned before, we designed Coop Edge that's based on blockchain technology to support cooperative edge computing. This picture is the overview of Coop Edge and the main workflow. Firstly, when the edge server wants to offload a task, it first publishes the task requirements and the basic reward to all edge servers on Coop Edge as the publisher. Upon receiving a task published task, 
each server inspects the network, network latency between itself and the publisher, and it may express the interest to executing the task. The publisher selects the most reliable one based on latency and reputation to execute the task. The selected edge server becomes to the executor. After that, the publisher broadcasts its decision and offloads the task to the executor. After that, after finishing the task, it, it returns the result to the publisher and broadcasts to the completion of the task to all other edge servers. The task publisher packs the information about the completed tasks into a transaction and broadcasts it on the group edge. Then, based on the edge service reputation, a recorder is selected. It creates a block, packs the, packs the transaction to the block. Finally, the recorder broadcasts the block to the other edge servers to validate. Edge servers receive the proposed block, starting starting to uh, validate the, and vote for the block. The recorder collects the validation results and adds to adds the block to the blockchain when the consensus is reached. As described before, Coop Edge has three main components: incentive, reputation, and consensus. Incentive mechanism promotes cooperation. The publishers provide credits to incentive others. In addition, extra credits will be provided when the task is finished in advance. It reflects the performance of each server. Therefore, extra credits of each task of each server finished in the past can be used to calculate its reputation. The one has the stable and high extra credits would have high reputation. Finally, the reputation contributes to the selection of the recorder and the executor. In general, a server with high reputation will be selected. That's all about my presentation. Thank you.